Where is Bella? He wasn't supposed to be here. I thought, duh, 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 duh. Where were you? You're supposed to be here already. I have my ways. Hey, Russell fam, today we're going to be doing an experiment called destroying water. Okay. And for this experiment, we're going to need a one cup measuring cup. A one-fourth measuring cup, one-fourth teaspoon, two stirring spoons, three glasses, um, they need to be tall ones, uh, Epsom salt, water, a nine-volt battery, and a large baking pan. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this out of the way. All right, and what we're gonna do is we need to measure one cup of water and pour it into each of the glasses, and we have already done that. Because we had a blooper that's gonna be at the end of the video. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna move the water out of the way. Water jug. Oh, water jug. Okay. Russell family. I keep getting confused. All right. So, and now we're going to put them all in a line, in a row. All right. And those are Bailey's notes to help him keep which cups are straight. All right. So, we are going to line the cups up in a row. In the middle cup, we are going to measure out one fourth of a teaspoon of Epsom salt. Sissy's going to measure it and Bailey's going to pour it. All right, put it in the middle, just one. This one? Yes. Okay. This is. That's one fourth, uh huh? All right, the next one, the one. Oh, you got them backwards, Bailey. The one in the middle is supposed to be the one fourth. See Russell fam? He's getting his notes all mixed up. There we go. All right. So now we are going to measure three fourths of a teaspoon. So we need three of those to go in that one. That's right. So we have one that's going to have plain water, one that's going to have a fourth of a teaspoon, and one that is going to have three fourths of a teaspoon and Russell, of Epsom salt. And Russell Pan, do not eat this salt. This is not eating salt. That is not eating salt, that's right. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the Epsom salt out of the way. There you go. And get the glass measuring cup out of the way too. There you go. All right, and you can scoot everything back closer to you. Yes, ma'am. So you can see. So do I start? Yeah. Yeah. Can you, stir? Can you reach them to stir? You may need to move it closer to her. All right, that's the one that has the three-fourths of a teaspoon. So we're going to stir it up really good until all of the Epsom salt is dissolved. It's starting to dissolve a little bit. It may take a few minutes. Just hang with us. Is it all dissolved good, all melted? Or? Hang on, back quick. Let me see. It is melted. Hang on, that's it. One more little scoop. All right. Okay, yeah. All right, now put that spoon to the side because you can't use it again. This one is the last one. All right, now we're going to stir up the one fourth of a teaspoon of Epsom salt. Make sure it's good and dissolved. It may take a minute. Yeah, I got it. I know, I'm looking at it. Okay. Oh, this one is looking big. Got one more looking over there. Okay. All right. I gotta put it in this glass cup over here. All right. Okay. This is the third fourths. Three fourths. Three fourths. One fourth in the normal water. And that's just plain water. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to stand the nine volt battery in the glass with just water. And we're gonna see what it does. Did I do it wrong? 
You gotta stand it up. I don't know if my hand will fit in there. There you go, stand it up like that. All right, we're gonna watch and see if it does anything. All right. You it's, see it's, it? it's bubbling. You see a little bit of bubbles? Mm -hmm. I don't. I There's just a little bit of bubbles. All right, now we're gonna take it out. Yeah, take it out. Bailey's gonna take it out. All right, and we're gonna put it in the one fourth. And I'm gonna put it. All right, we gotta stand it up. That's okay. And I'm gonna put it in the three. All right, let's watch and see what it does. Oh, you see it bubbling? It's bubbling, it's bubbling more. It is bubbling more. All right. Now let's take it out and put it in the three fourths and see what it does. We have a lot more cool science experiments coming up, so stay tuned with us. Oh, and look that at that one it. bubbled up really quick. Yeah. That one's the one that has more Epsom salt in it. Yep. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? That's really cool. And if you guys don't know, science is my favorite class. All right, so take the battery out. Now, don't we need the baking pan? Yeah. Alright, let me get you a bowl. I, I might need a bowl. Alright, just put the battery in here. There you go. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take the cup that has the three fourths a teaspoon and pour it in here in the baking dish. Alright, it says that's enough. That's all we're supposed to do is we're supposed to pour it in there and we're supposed to leave it alone and let it sit until we do our next science experiment. So we will have to see what it does and we will let y'all know. So what we have learned in this experiment is so, what is water? It is a collection of tiny molecules that you cannot see. These molecules are made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atoms linked together with chemical bonds. When electricity, or electrical energy, the battery, excuse me, destroys those molecules, hydrogen gas and oxygen are formed. The bubbles you saw in your experiment are bubbles of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. What about the Epsom salt and the fact that the more bubbles formed in the water with the Epsom salt. So do you think the Epsom salt affected it and made it bubble more? I do too. It made it release more gas. All right, Russell fam, stay tuned. We have more science experiments coming. So Bye, Russell fam. Bye, Russell fam. get off the video. Do you outside have some fun? And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Bailey. He wasn't supposed to be here. A -da -da. There you are. Today we're going to be doing a science experiment called destroying grass. No, or destroying water. <laughs> we got overflow. Alright, hang on.